What's up worship leaders? My name is Johnny Hansen and I hope you're having a great day. I'm here to show you a little bit about Planning Center and how you can link songs for your team to see, how you can download chord charts, and then also how you can include important reporting information. Now if you've been scheduled to lead worship on a Sunday morning, you need to link the songs for your team to see it for the rest of the week. So starting on Monday, do actually on Monday, you are going to have to link those songs for the upcoming Sunday. So by Monday, the songs should be in for the rest of the whole week so that your team can practice it. So let me show you how to do that. So say you go on to Planning Center. Now, as I have already logged in, this is the base view that you can see of the service types we have here. Say you're scheduled for Creekside High School Sunday morning for September 1st. You're gonna click on that day and then this is the run sheet that we have. That's basically just the template. So these are the different songs that you're gonna link it to. It says worship through music and you're gonna link it to these different songs. Song one, two, three, and four. The different songs that you have already chosen for your team to play. So the first one I'm gonna link by hitting the edit right here. And this is how I can link the song. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna show you how to make sure you know that you have the right key for that song and the right song is already in our database. So up here at the top, there's a song tab. So I'm gonna open that up, go to the songs, and then from here, you can type in the different songs that you wanna play. So let's say you're just gonna do Broken Vessels. Broken Vessels. Boom, enter. Say this is gonna be your first song. Sweet, it is in the database, so I'm gonna go on right there. I'm gonna click on it. These are the different, um, basically the different ministries that use this song. Let's go on youth. And then there's three different keys that this is already in, A, D, and G. Say I wanna play it in actually the key of C. I wanna be a little bit funky with that, no worries. Go to the add key, select start, and C, that ends also at the same thing. You're gonna download the chord chart. Yep, it's selected, hit save, and key of C. There we go, it auto-populated with that. And now you have your key of C version of the song. From here, you can download it and print off the chords for the rest of your team, or you can email it to them and ask them to print it out. So cool, now we know we have the right key and the right song in the database. I'm gonna go back to our planning center uh, run sheet. I'm gonna go in and edit it just like I hit before, that little pencil right there for song one. And instead of just typing in the name, I'm actually gonna go in and link a song right here. Again, I'm gonna type in the name, let's say Broken Vessels, and say we wanna pull in the same key that we did before. Broken Vessels, perfect, youth, and these are the available keys. You can see that C is right there. So I'm gonna hit youth, I'm gonna go in and make sure that I have the right key. If you don't have the right key, if you have team members that are practicing over the week, they might be practicing the wrong key and that's not a good idea. Okay, also we should input the time. Um, let's say the song is gonna be about four minutes long. All right, perfect. So now we have the name of the song in there. We have the time, we have the right key. Everything's good. But then one last thing before you link it, this needs to be selected as one. Normally it's gonna show up blank like that. And what this is, is it's the CCLI reporting. We are currently in a phase where we're being reported, uh, just basically um, audited to make sure that we are doing the licensing correctly for our songs. CCLI is the company that allows us to have all these different songs to project on Sunday. So we just need to make sure we're doing our due diligence to uh, give good credit for that. So you're just gonna type one for each time that you do it. Um, there's print, digital, recording, and translation. You're just gonna do one for the digital. That's saying you're doing one digital projection of this song. And just as a quick side note, that CCLI reporting information can only be put in on the web browser. So like using your laptop or desktop is the best way to go through that. I know that it's super convenient to use the app uh, to access that, but the yellow CCLI reporting box just simply isn't visible through doing that, and it's necessary for you guys to include the CCLI reporting information. So please use a desktop or a laptop and the browser that way to do that. Sweet, back to the tutorial. So now that's selected, you say accept, and boom. Your song is linked right there with the reporting information. You're gonna to continue to do the editing for song two, song three, and song four, making sure that on the different songs, uh, they're all in the right key and everything's available right there. 
So that's basically how you get the songs linked. You can also download it like I showed you before to print it off or share it with your team by email. And then you can also make sure that the CCLI reporting information is in there. Hopefully that information was helpful and hopefully it helps you guys be better and more organized worship leaders. Guys, I'm so grateful for you. I'm thankful for you. And hopefully you guys have an awesome next season of leading worship and praising God through it. Have a great day.